service, man. I'll repeat it because I can barely hear you. I'm, I'm surprised I haven't heard you with that splatter box you're on, but you, you, if you wanted to make yourself worthwhile, like a worthwhile human being, you know, you'd say who hacked up your radio. Go ahead. They're just too stupid to talk to. Yeah, you hear all them hacked up radios out there? Yeah, poor little hack jobs from the CB Radio Hall of Shame. That's what they come from, that striker radio club. That's the idea. You got to see some of the stuff in there. I don't think if you put the whole group together that they could repair, tune, and even install a radio. In my opinion, you try to figure it all out. Yeah, poor little guys from the CB Radio Hall of Shame Golden Screwdriver Jockeys. Yeah, he is. He most definitely is. They're just a poor little miserable. It's just like we like to pull them out and my little puppet's on a string. One at a time, they're figuring out where you guys are at. Oops, 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 oops. I didn't mean to do that. Keep talking, window lickers. Keep talking, the Molotov cocktail. Just get rid of that garbage. Just take it out. It's worthless. It has no use in life. Get rid of it. You know where it's at. Just take out that garbage. It's worthless. It has no meaning. Has no use at all whatsoever. Get rid of the garbage. Yeah, and just get rid of that garbage. Show a little bit later. Over modulated splatter box, disrespectful little critters. Uh, just disrespectful little critters. Up with that junk radio equipment. Which one of those shops from the Hall of Shame hacked up your radio? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, man. How long before the Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people in there, but I did hear you. Yeah, they're, they're just uh, incompetent. They can't even answer a simple question. Pathetic little guys. My little puppets on a string. Yeah, it kind of sounds that way. It does sound like a splatter box. He's good for repairs, man, but he's the last guy you ever want to, you know, try to tune your radio. Chris Holland from over there in California, I've seen hundreds of his radios. He's a good repair guy, but he can't tune a fish. Right, yeah, it's been common knowledge now for a long time. Did you uh, let him, you didn't? Chris Holland, is, that's probably the majority of those radios that are splattering that bad. That's why they sound so ringy and tinny. It's just as bad as those uh, N6s Longhorns. Oh, those things are nasty. Yeah, as soon as they came out, everybody wanted to send them here. But you guys got to you gotta buy the strikers. It's none of that how much. You got to make your offer first. If it's enough, we'll see if it's enough. If I reply, then it was. If not, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah that's what I figured. You gotta stop and think if he even allows someone like you in his door or accepts a radio. I mean, he must not have any much. He doesn't have any clientele per se. Right, right. That's you can always tell by the type of people they do work for. Right. That's why I won't touch his radios anymore. I've done hundreds of them. You should have paid attention. But Chris Holland, I say, you could tell just by the type of people that he associates with, or even lets them on the property. Yeah, yeah, not much class or skill level there. Right. Poor little guys, they're so miserable. What is that, Riverside stuff? Yeah, it's been Riverside. There used to be some cool cats that did some radio work around over there, but the last guy I remember that did radio work around down there by Ontario, man, he's, he's an old dude now. I think he's still alive, though. Think they would just uh, figure it out by now and just go away? Just all that nasty splatter box, ringy, tinny junk radios. Uh huh. Yes, sir. You can tell by the class of clientele, man. Isn't it pretty simple? SWR checks, you let them do that or, you know, swapping parts around, but obviously you can't tune anything. Listen to that junk. Don't be so miserable, little guys. Don't be so miserable. You're just tying up the airways. Just acting like complete idiots. You 
definitely all sound like you got some psychological issues. Uh, definitely psychological issues. You do sound kind of like you got some sugar in your voice, by the way. Or is it just your radio that makes you sound that way? Yeah, there's a little good buddy right there. Sure, come on down. Nah, didn't do nothing, man. What's your personal last name? Yeah, a little, he's just another con artist, but that's what you get. You know, it's like the worldwide DX wannabes or Facebook crowds. Just little wannabes. Just little wannabes hiding behind the curtain. And that's what kind of radios you talk on, junk. But that's besides the point. Get the point, no integrity. If he would let you on the lot, even in, in the door, without kicking you out, I'm just going to show that he has none. He doesn't have any integrity either. I've been making sure and making sure that people know nationwide and technicians that know that if someone like you shows up you know, anywhere, if they're disrespectful on the radio, just to give them the boot. Just give them, just, you know, roll them out to the curb. If they're a technician, you know, anyone that's worthwhile at all whatsoever, if they would ever work on something that you got, it just shows they have no skills or technology, you know. They got no integrity, and they got nothing else to do, I guess, to allow you to come under the family up in the room. <laughs> Making any sense now there, good buddy? God. Yeah, right. Just, uh, just imagine the type of client you got. Zero class, and that's what you get on the radio, too. Same type of equipment. How come it sounds like a swab? Why is it splattering so bad there, window liquor? How come every single one of those window lickers or some of you guys from that CB Radio Hall of Shame crowd? Every one of them is disrespectful and kind of like a lower class of individual. Uh, lower class. Lower class of individual. Anyways, guys, it's too bad you got to hear these screwballs on the radio all day. It's got to drive you guys nuts. Safety first while you're rolling and strolling on the highways and byways. Every now and then, throw these little window lickers out and make them my little puppet on a string. Just find out where they're at. Just get rid of that garbage. You don't want to hear that trash on the radio. Mud duck in the desert. Back to the bench. Yeah, I knew he'd be back to the bench. good in the desert. Yeah, a little drama queens and making up stories. That poor little guy probably pee his pants. Those little stories, but I'm not going to go into that level and lower myself to communicate with white trash. Yeah, it's pretty sad, man, white trash. But that's what you get when the CB shops, you know, just think about it. I wouldn't have nothing to do with it. Just listen to it. I would never allow someone like that to even work on their stuff, but he probably... You know, tried to contact me a number of ways in a fake account. He got the boot doing to the back to these, you know, disrespectful. Hear him on the radio? Disrespectful little kid. How are you? Oh, yeah, I think somebody asked him to step outside one time. Poor little window licker out there. It's from the CB Radio Hall of Shame Golden Screwdriver Jockey Hack Shops. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's this thing. 
got some good vivid imaginations in their head, don't they? Poor little guys that sit there and shake. Uh, yeah, it's every time you get them total screwballs from the CB radio hall of shame golden screwdriver jackies. That's what you get on the radio. That's crazy. It's a disgrace to the radio community. That's why people don't even want radios anymore. Hacks oh, like that. And the hack shops that work on radios for morons like that. But they just go hand in hand, Tempor. That's why you won't come outside. Yeah, they just keep babbling. Yeah, you, you, they don't have any test equipment, no skills, no nothing. Nothing. Just hack shops. That's it. Hack shop. Yeah, that little screwball up there. I like you. Riverside, California. I guess he's uh, talking about that. It's a hacked up radio splatter box by that Chris Holland guy. He went, God, uh, how many hundreds I've had to repair from that guy. But uh, they would come in by the truckload, but they came in by decent people, actually, from time to time. Some people would actually screw up and get that done. It's like those Longhorn radios everyone's going to into. I just suggest don't touch that radio. You're going to have to spend just as much on technical work or, you know, bench time, tech time than the radio's worth. They're not worth it. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it. They're just not worth it. Plus the transistors that are in it, the ones that just came back out the night. Biosim's all screwed up. They're using the Ranger board. Yeah, I wouldn't touch that radio. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, the N6 Longhorn, yeah, you don't want nothing to do with it. Nothing with an amp on it like that. If you're going to do something like that, you want to put something behind it. Get the radio professionally to not all hacked up, my kids junk like that put something behind it and or just get me like a striker 955 professionally tuned and then concentrate on your antenna system that's the key most of my guys have realized that they don't even need an apple bar i can smell it yeah yeah just you just gotta do a great first time the right coax the power cord the rf and dc potentials must be equal no voltage drop crystal clear slice and dice a lot easier that way Check, you're working. 